Hello everybody, I'm working on this little larch tree today and uh, it's grown really well over the summer. I at last showed this video in spring um, and it was just a skinny little thing with a few shoots just starting to poke out whereas now it's uh, new shoots are three four inches long and growing well and it's now time to give it a bit of a trim just to kind of pull it into a shape uh, we'll worry more about structural pruning in the winter time when it's actually lost all its needles and we can see the branch structure properly and the way it's grown may make me change my mind as to a, a front for this tree uh, I was going with this but now I'm actually thinking this side might make a better a better front but um, again that's a decision that can be made later what I want to do at the moment is to as I said trim it back a little bring some of these shoots um, back so that we will form a triangle cutting back the apex which is generally speaking more dominant and uh, will seek to out compete and uh, stopping the branches just being this straight um, monotonous just a straight piece of timber which is fine if you're growing timber and you want straight pieces for a fence post or whatever else I'm waffling now aren't I anyway uh, the other issue I have at the moment is that the wire is cutting in and that needs to come off so we'll start with the wire Firstly you need to find the end, um, this wire is quite thick, quite uh, heavy duty compared to some other wires I've used, but it is going to come off. Um, I'm a bit of a cheapskate, I like to reuse when I can, uh, plus it's better for the planet and we all got to live on that, so the tree's still a little wobbly in its pot. Um, but it only went into this part this spring so don't expect it to have completely filled the pot with roots um, not in this first year probably not even in its second so there we go that's the, um, the wire removed without shaking up the tree too much and uh, at the moment at least the tree appears to have taken the the bends that I put into it so that's good I'll be pleased with that when I'm doing this sort of uh, rough shaping as it were I prefer to start at the top um, and work my way down um, some people prefer to work at the bottom and work the way up it's um, there are no real right ways and wrong ways of doing it um, I ought to put something on my channel page to the effect that uh, I'm not showing people how to bonsai as much as this is how I bonsai we all have um, different idiosyncrasies and ways of dealing with trees and uh, you give the same piece of starter material to two people that do bonsai and you're going to end up with two very different trees afterwards but that's part of the fun um, you know sometimes I watch people working on their trees and they I wouldn't do it like that um, but then I think well they probably wouldn't do what I do either and that's okay so yeah just a general rough prune really just to bring it back into shape
One of the beauties of larch is you get this, the appearance of a conifer. Well, in fact, they are a conifer. But you get the, the um, ease of working on them over winter when you want to do some structural pruning you can see all the branch structure that you need to see um, and you can shape as you want so this is just a general rough cut I will get some browning with the scissors um, chopping through needles but I'm not too worried about that at this stage this tree's growing really well, really healthy. Um, these brown ends will shrivel up and fall off soon enough, and uh, in a few weeks you won't even know they were there. Okay, so that's had a bit of a trim. Um, just brought it back into a vague sort of triangle. I'm not sure what to do about this branch. Um, if I keep this as the front, which I might, I might lose a couple of these lower branches um, and keep this as the front then that branch will need to go because it's very much um, what they call an eye pokey branch and although I don't sustain all of the um, you know, I don't follow all of the rules of bonsai I really don't like the eye pokey branches um, however if I decide to reposition it and use this as a front that could make quite a nice little side branch so I'm going to keep my options open and uh, I've said it many times but you can always uh, cut a branch off later it's not easy to put one back and despite what people will tell you about uh, or just get them to back bud getting trees to back bud where you want them isn't um, isn't as easy as it sounds. I do. It, it's just part of a sort of T branch, so one of them will have to go. But uh, which one it is, as they say, we'll decide later. I'll we'll shorten that off. Okay, so we'll just give you a quick 360. I think you can agree that it's actually put on quite a lot of growth and looking quite nice for um, well not even a whole season in this pot the second uh, little arch that I'm going to be working on in this video and um, it's grown well but not as well as the other one for some reason um, even though they were in um, well, they were at, almost next to each other on the bench and there was one other tree in between um, so they were getting pretty much the same sort of microclimate and amount of daylight etc etc um, whereas this tree has only put on um, an inch or less in growth the other tree has um, you know as you saw put on three or four inches but I still want to do a little bit of work on this tree um, rather than wait seasons moving on after all it's the um, 23rd of July today so I just want to this one I'm just going to pinch out some of these growths that are coming out of line with the overall shape and in this case it's a kind of uh, semi hemisphere half a, half a globe circular the word escapes me um, but not a not so much a rigid triangle but more of that sort of hemispherical shape um, yeah, so not too much to do with this tree because it hasn't grown quite as well as so. Uh, there's a couple of bits that are growing in the wrong direction that I'm going to take off. Um, 
I'm just going to pinch out some of these tips. Obviously this tree is uh, more developed in the first place than the other tree, which was just a trunk in a pot. Well, no, let's be honest, it wasn't a trunk in a pot, it was a stick in a pot really. Um, albeit a stick with roots on, very much a starter tree, as this has been in training for several years now. And therefore, that bit more developed. Well, one thing I've not been happy with is a kind of lack of depth in this area. Um, and at the moment, I've been allowing this back branch to grow out for several years with the idea that maybe. I can just turn this into a pad back here um, and again as I've often said that bonsai is an illusion so what I would like to do with it is to try and make it appear to be a back branch whilst it is actually part of this side branch uh, to it I'm going to wire it into place and uh, I'm just going to pinch out the growing tip here now that it's elongated quite nicely um, and I'm going to put a piece of wire on there just to bring it down and around and hopefully it'll take on that illusion of a back branch for me um, as I said with the last tree trees won't back bud exactly where you want one and I would like a back branch here in this area and it won't give me one so I suppose I could try and approach graft, but I don't know if that would work with a larch. Maybe. I'm going to do some research. For now I'm going to wire it, and then I'll do some research. Um, and maybe next spring, whilst the tree is bare, I might try and approach graft. Um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. use this um, one millimeter wire and yeah if, if I wire this through um, this branch in such a way that I'm bringing that in close anyway um, then an approach graph next year if, if such a thing is feasible um, is the way to go I think so for now Obviously, even if I thought it was possible, it's far too late in the season. But this will set me up for it if it's possible. And if you guys have ever had success with approach grafting a larch, uh, please let me know in the in the comments. Comments are always useful. Um, it's nice to know what you guys think. Even if you don't agree with me and you're telling me I'm an idiot, um, it's nice to know that uh, there are people out there listening to me, <laughs> not just talking to myself. Okay, so I'm trapping a few needles here and there, but not too many. Um, okay, so I'm going to bring that branch in there and close to the trunk and then back out again like so so if we turn the tree around um, Have the beginnings of a branch in this corner now, corner quarter. Um, yeah, that could work. As I say, I'm going to have to do some homework on whether you can do approach grafting with um, with larch. 
and in the meantime uh, that can do its thing there so let's give you a quick 360 degrees once we've pulled you out a little it's definitely a little too bare at the back here but uh, this branch will help it somewhat part of that 360 degrees I just noticed that this branch here um, is just a little high so I'm going to put a little bit of wire in fact, I've got a branch that's crossing over another branch quite badly there. I haven't spotted that either. Um, that's got to go. That's better. And uh, I, yeah, I'm going to put a piece of wire just on that branch. Just to bring it down a little and separate it from this back branch a little more. So I'm just going to anchor that around a second branch don't want to wire it too tightly and just bring it down a little more into line that's better it gives a little more definition between the two pads as it were What are you doing, Tribsy? Okay, I think that's, that's pretty much it for this tree, definitely now. We'll come back and see it in the autumn, winter time. Thank you all for watching in these troubled times. Please, please, please take care of yourselves. Stay safe.